Hey everybody, Ryan Horn from RyansTechTips.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at everything you need to know about Google Classroom's Guardian email summaries from the parent perspective. We're going to take a look at quite a few things from what the parents will be seeing and expecting. Let's dig in. Okay, so first let's take a look at what Guardian email summaries include, and then we'll take a look at an example of a Guardian email summary. So what in the world do Guardian email summaries include anyway? If you get these in your email inbox, your Guardian email summary might include some missing work, and that would be work that's late at the time the email was sent. There might be a section for upcoming work, and that depends if you're getting daily emails or weekly emails, if that come, upcoming work is due within the next couple days or due within the upcoming week. And then you might also have a section for uh, class activity, and those could be any announcements, assignments, or questions that the teacher maybe has recently posted in their Google Classroom. Here's an example of a Guardian email summary, and this is an example of a weekly summary. So parents, if you are receiving these in your inbox, you'll get something that says Google Classroom, and this one says weekly summary for Felix, and you'll see the dates here of the weekly summary. We'll take a look at a daily summary later. At the top, it'll have a section for student work, and that's where it might have any missing work or work that's due next week. If you scroll down your email summary, there'll be a section for class activity, and these are just the posts, the announcements, the assignments that teachers have posted. And you'll notice that Felix here is getting class activity from three different Google Classrooms. US History, here's the teacher's name, American literature, there's that teacher's name, and marine biology, there is that teacher's name. This is all you're getting, parents. This is just a watered down look at what's happening in your student's Google Classrooms. Now, if your student is enrolled in a Google Classroom and you're not seeing it here, you're thinking, I know that chemistry has a Google Classroom, I'm not seeing it. Your student's chemistry teacher might have not enabled guardian summaries for their class. So parents, if you're interested in that, you can send an email to that chemistry teacher and say, hey, I'm receiving some guardian email summaries from other classes. Could you please turn on yours for chemistry as well? Okay, next let's take a look at how as a parent you sign up to receive guardian email summaries and some frequently asked questions. This is from Google's guardian email summaries FAQ. And I want to take a look at how in the world do I sign up for email summaries of my student work in the first place? Well, Google's response is your teacher is the one that sends you an invitation. There's no buttons you can click or no code you use to activate Guardian email summaries. It's going to come from your student's teachers. And it only needs to come from one of your student's teachers. Once you accept an invitation for all the teachers that have email summaries turned on, you'll receive all of them. So if you haven't received anything yet, you can reach out to one of your school's teachers and say, I would like to receive Guardian email summaries from Google Classroom. Okay. Now let's take a look at what does it look like when you receive an invitation for Guardian email summaries. It might look something like this. You'll get a message that says, get Google email summaries. And when you open that message up, you'll have a button to accept. And when you press accept here, it's going to ask you if this is the email account you want the email summaries to come to. If that's not the correct email account, you need to press the switch account button. And this is the inbox they're going to come to. And then parents, when you press accept, you'll see the number of students that you are signed up for to receive email summaries for. Okay, so that's how you accept that invitation. Let's go back to our frequently asked questions. Some of you might be thinking, how can I get into my student's Google Classroom itself? The summaries are, are fine and everything, but I want more detail. I want to see the work my students turned in. I want to be able to communicate with the teacher. Can I sign into my student's Google Classroom? And Google's response is no, guardians cannot access Google Classroom or their child's assignments, and they do this for privacy issues. You can only get email summaries if the teacher allows it. So this is different from some of the other platforms out there that you might be used to. Google Classroom at its heart is for student to teacher communication and student to teacher, teacher to student workflow. It's not for parents to be part of that workflow. Okay, another thing that we might want to take a look at is how to change the settings on how often you get these email summaries from 
Google Classroom. Maybe they're blowing up your inbox and they're coming daily and it's too much for you and you want to change it to weekly or vice versa. So you might want to be interested in how do I manage my Guardian email settings. Here is a link. It's classroom.google.com forward slash GS where you can change your settings. If that link is too hard for you to get to, you can also simply open up one of your messages and when you scroll down to the bottom of your email summary you'll notice there's a button for settings and when you single click on settings you can choose if you want to receive weekly updates daily updates or no summaries at all for that child that is how you get into the settings Okay, so at this point, parents, you might be thinking, this is great, this is fine, but how do we actually get into Google Classroom and really see that student work? Because remember, Google said that guardians can't access Classroom. I'd recommend this, parents. Ask your student to log into their Google Classroom if you want to see their work. Ask your student to show you around Google Classroom the work they've turned in, any feedback they might have received. It has to be logged in through the student account so that you can see the work. So have those direct conversations with your students. Okay, we covered a lot. I hope it was helpful. I hope from the parent perspective, you were able to see what Guardian email summaries looks like and what it's all about, what you can do and what you can't do. So I'm Ryan Horn for ryanstechtips.com and we'll catch you next time.